So Kaylin, a uh, convincing win here in the SWPL Cup quarterfinal, how does it feel? Yeah, I think we're quite happy to have such a dominant performance, especially going into a game that we wanted to kind of express ourselves a bit more and make sure that we had our foot firmly planted in the next round of the cup early on. And I think we achieved that and then it was just about seeing out the rest of the game, making sure we didn't drop the tempo too much and trying to get the most out of it as a team as well. Also, Sterling are, are bottom of SWPL1, but I think having played them before, you know they can be a stuffy team, a difficult team to beat. They've shown that in other games as well. Coming into it, what were you expecting from the match? Yeah, well, we just had to be quite careful coming into it because we know that in the previous round against Hearts we'd struggled against a team that sat in against us and we've been trying to find a bit more creativity by mixing things up in other league games so I think it was just a bit of a confidence builder when we saw that we could open up the space a lot better today and get players making the right runs and maybe being a bit more flexible as a team um, so yeah I think we were just wary that we didn't want to kind of leave it until late, too late in the game to stamp our authority on the game. So I think we did it really well getting ahead with early goals and then we could relax a bit more as the game went on. I was going to touch upon that, the fact that you got those early goals. A wee bit fortunate with the first one I guess from Joel, but you know, getting those early goals as well, how much do you think that, that builds the confidence to go on and get a few more goals in a game like this? I think it's massive just in terms of relaxing the team because although even if you dominate possession and you feel like you're kind of ahead in the game without the safety of one or two goals people start getting a bit frantic and knowing that it's a cup game as well you really want to make sure that you are going through to the next round and um, so I think it was really big for us to get those first couple of goals so that we could maybe express ourselves a bit more and relax more especially in the second half when we knew the game was um, just there to be finished off really. You had a lot of players getting some game time today. How good is that for, for the squad overall to get game time under your belt, especially as we're going into it's another busy time in the season? Yeah, I think it's really good to get players in, especially since we made a couple of signings over the summer and just kind of testing out new ways of playing. Because um, as I say, we kind of struggled a wee bit in the first few games of the season and finding the right formation and everything. Um, so I think it's really useful for Grant to get people on and see where they can contribute to the team and especially going into this and uh, as you say maybe a busier time with the City game on Friday being able to rest some players or to mix up the squad is really useful for us. For, from a personal perspective you know playing regularly here at Hibs and uh, obviously coming into the new season and everything like that how do you feel that you've been getting on this season so far and what are your aims for the rest of the season as well? I think at the beginning of the season it was just it's kind of the thing where last year's success is this year's expectation type thing so I wasn't quite happy enough with how it started the season in terms of getting up the pitch and supporting the play and so I've been doing a bit of work um, looking at the videos from the past games to try and make sure that I can make the same impact on the team and I think I achieved that a lot better today so going forward I just want to be able to play with the same confidence and it comes with making sure in our team that we've got the right rotation of players moving in and out which helps the fullbacks get forward and support the play a lot more so I was really happy with how it went and I just hope this is a sign of more things to come. Talking of, of aims and ambitions obviously into the semi-final hat for the, the next round um, of the SWPL Cup. Winning it for the fourth time in a row, how big an achievement and a boost would that be for Hibs? Yeah, I think that's quite... It's always our focus to be as successful as we can in every competition and although the league is sometimes quite elusive, every game's almost a cup final for us. We you know we need to um, win every game that comes, so in the cup it's no different. And I think we're really keen to hold on to um, the precedent that we've sent by winning it through the past few years. And I think just knowing that we're have established ourselves as a really um, good team even following losing players over Christmas and getting a new squad in. I think that is quite important and I think we did get a confidence boost today. And just finally talking about confidence boost, Friday night football on BBC Alba yep. against big title rivals Glasgow City. What's the thoughts and the feelings from the squad ahead of that massive match already this early in the season? Well I think we've just been focusing on it one game at a time so this week we're going to really start switching over to be thinking about the City game um, and seeing what we can do but I think it's really positive that we've managed to step up our performances in recent weeks and hopefully we'll peak at the right time to go and compete in such a high stakes game.